my name's Lizzie, I'm Anglican and in two and a half weeks I'm going to be moving into a convent ready to become a postulant. If you saw my little video I put up yesterday you'll know that I'm in the middle of moving out of my flat. Today's the day that most of my furniture goes. So if you're interested here's just a very quick update of how my flat's looking and what I'm up to today basically. This is, um, we've taken my my washing machine out ready and put all the um, what do you call them like bolts in the back and this is my pile of all the things that are going to open hands to be given to people who are struggling to afford things like contents for their for their homes and then my this is how my living room is now looking my freezers unplugged ready to go basically everything on this rug is stuff that I'm keeping in my flat over the weekend so I'm trying to make sure that nothing gets taken away by accident these are going to my parents loft today um, all of this is going to open hands to be given to taken to new homes there's my flowers so I've still got something nice to look at over the weekend um, the, the sofa and the chairs are going I was taking this rubbish up while I talked to you and um, this is how my bedroom is now looking obviously I've taken all the curtains down because um, yeah, my, my curtains and my bedding are also packaged up ready to go to open hands and they're going to have these chests of drawers and, and the bed as well and that chest of drawers and then I don't know if you can see it let me turn it around but I've got all these um pieces of card that I've been trying to collect because in a second I can show you what I mean because I live in a block of flats there are fire doors everywhere and they're even double fire doors so the amount of doors I've got to keep open. Um, there's probably about nine doors I've got to find ways of just keeping open just for long enough to, to move furniture like these two and more downstairs. So um, well, this is what happens when you're trying to move furniture out of a block of flats but thankfully, we've, well you can see it, but we've got a lift. So that is what I'm up to you today. I just thought I'd add something that I realised yesterday evening because I thought it might interest you. But um, I noticed last night what well, one of the kids from opposite came in with his mum to because they, they like to come in with their parents and just like look around my flat occasionally and run around and things. Because I'm friends with there's a Hindu family opposite, there's a, a family from Iran and Syria on, in my corridor, and a family from a Christian family from Pakistan um, on a on another level and quite often like that they like to come round or their children like to come round with their parents and, and like say hi or just like run around my flat so actually once my furniture's out of the way that'll give them a nice the children a nice space like to properly run around and I was thinking I might as well make the use of, of having no furniture because it, in a way if we're gonna if we can all sit on the floor and if I make it fun like a teddy bears picnic type thing where we all sit on rugs and cushions and and the children can bring like teddies or the equivalent um uh, and if, yeah, if all of us, like parents, children, can have something fun like a teddy bear's picnic type thing and we can have like crisps and dates and juice and stuff, I thought that would just be a nice way of inviting everyone round uh, on my last afternoon here. A nice way of like saying goodbye to the families I've made friends with here and thank them also <laughs> for the inconvenience of all, the, all this moving like right outside their own flats. That's my parents pulling in now. I tied the, the entrance door to the building open with string just for long enough for us to move furniture in and out but someone's cut it um, like thinking like obviously for security reasons but I can't move from my flat because we've had to take my door off my flat to get my sofa in and out and you need to have a key to, to open the, the entrance door you can't do it by, by a kind of intercom type button thing so this is, these are the problems you get living in a block of flats when you can't keep all, all the doors open. I don't feel like I'm being much use because I'm having to just stay and guard the flat but last night I went and bought lemonade so at least I can offer everyone a drink because it's going to be thirsty work. A Syrian couple about my age just came round to ask if I wanted any help moving furniture out, which was really nice of them. Uh, this, is, this is what I love about living in this block of flats and what I'll miss. Well that was all very successful thanks to my parents and to volunteers from Open Hands. And here is how 
my living room is now looking very minimalist and here's where I'll be sleeping the next couple of nights until I actually have my keys into the landlord on Monday <laughs>